Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we'll talk about how you will prepare for data science interviews in different product based companies. So as the on campus placement session is coming for all the IITs and IISC for BTEC and MTech students, I think this is the right time to discuss about how to prepare for data science role in different product based companies. And in this video, we'll talk about that. What are the things that you have to focus on? Uh, what are the skill set that is needed in order to succeed in data science interviews and the overall process you know how how a typical uh, data science interview looks like that i'm going to discuss in this video so just a uh, point i want to mention that this video is only uh, you know focused on the faces candidate so if you're someone who is appearing for uh, data science interviews in your on campus placement or in future in the off campus placement of your final year this video is for you uh, this is not a video which i am making for the people who are already you know experts or has some experience working in data science uh, company so this video is not for them this is only for the freshers candidate so yeah this will be the whole uh, whole content of this video so if you want to know more about the whole thing please do watch the video till end and before starting the video, as I always say, if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. Without further ado, let's get started into today's video. The first and most important thing is you have to understand the basic ML concepts very well. Whenever you'll be applying for any data science role in any company, be it in on-campus and off-campus, there'll be a couple of rounds where a recruiter will check your in-depth knowledge on the basic ML concepts. Like they will check whether you know different, uh, you know, activation functions, different loss functions, how to pre-process data, you know, different optimization techniques like gradient descent, stochastic gradient descent, batch gradient descent, and uh, then, you know, what are the different ML algorithms and, you know, how to choose among them based on your uh, problem settings and finally you know what are the different evolution matrix that you will be used uh, for evaluating your model and etc so these are the things that they will check and that's why your utmost priority should be that your basic understanding on this general machine learning concept has to be very solid because being a freshers candidate company won't expect from you that you know the complicated deep learning models like BERT uh, ImageNet, Graph Neural Network, which are very advanced level topic. The company won't expect you that you know all of those things. But at least if you if you do well in the general machine learning stuff, then they will find you a good fit for the profile from where you will excel in the future uh, in that particular company. And also in this interviews, they will choose on particular ML algorithm. So suppose linear regression or logistic regression or decision tree, they will choose and they will ask you in depth of everything that is related to that particular algorithm. So they will ask you all the things that will be related to linear regression or logistic regression or decision tree and they will check how much you know. So these are called ML depth round where they will check you uh, how much knowledge you have on those particular algorithms. So that's why you have to prepare for those basic ML algorithms very well so that you won't miss anything whenever the recruiter will ask. The next important thing is the project or mini project that you are mentioning in your CV. So whenever you will be appearing for any data science interview in your CV, you will be mentioning some project or mini project that will be related to data science or machine learning. So first of all, what kind of project you can mention in your CV for the data science interview? So first of all, as a major project, you can mention the BTEC or MTech final year project that you are doing. Uh, if that is related to machine learning, then you can mention it as a major project. And as mini project, uh, you can mention different course projects that you have done uh, during your MTech or BTEC curriculum in different courses that is related to machine learning or different assignments of those courses also you can mention and end up as mini project. Now, once you mention the major project or mini project in your CV, make sure you know every detail of that project. And if you don't know about the project, please don't write it in the CV. Uh, because the recruiter will choose one or two projects from the given list of mini projects in your CV and they will ask you end to end about that projects like they will ask you, you know, what are the problem statement uh, you know what are the data that is there what are the distribution of data uh, then you know why you have chosen a particular model why not the other models what are the evaluation matrix so everything they will ask you about that project so that's why if you are not sure about the project if you don't know everything about the project 
please don't write it because you know if you are not able to answer a project that is written in your CV that makes a ne negative impact in your interview that actually you know increase your chance of getting rejected because uh, you know if you are a part of project and if you don't know about the project that's not at all accepted that's the only mention about the project that you are comfortable with that you have done end to end and prepare well for that so that you won't miss anything that the recruiter will ask you in the interview next round is ml application round where the recruiter will give you a real world use case and you have to solve it so these rounds are actually open-ended rounds so there is no specific solution for that particular problem statement that will be given to you so in most of the cases the recruiter will give you a problem statement that the company even is struggling to solve and they will check how you are approaching that uh, that problem statement and in, in, the, in the starting of the interview only the recruiter will tell you that it's an open-ended round uh, so that there is no specific solution that might come out of that one hour uh, round but yeah that will be kind of a uh, discussion where the recruiter will check you that how you are approaching the problem you know how you are understanding the problem and how you are trying to solve th that problem and trying to you know attempt to solve that problem uh, so this round I particularly uh, personally feel that it's a bit tricky round because being a fresher we don't know how industry works how, how industry operates that we don't have any idea so that's why uh, we, it's, it's very difficult for a fresher candidate who is from college uh, to 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 you know you know attempt that particular problem in a in a proper way but i what i i understood is that you know to to be able to do in this round is that you have to keep on asking the recruiter as much as possible so initial 10 to 15 minutes you should you know keep on asking all the different corner cases and try to understand the requirement uh, and you shouldn't miss any corner case uh, that that is there so keep on asking questions and keep on thinking that what can be a possible solution and then once you gather all the information then use your all knowledge that you have gained from different machine learning courses different machine learning projects that you have worked on and try to solve it and even when you are trying to solve the problem also give your responses back to the recruiter and get their feedback that how they are thinking how, whether you are going into right direction or not so this is how it should be it should be an interactive round otherwise it's very difficult because un until unless you are getting feedback from the recruiter you have no idea whether you are going in the right direction or not the final thing that you have to prepare is for coding round uh, so even for the data science interview also there will be a coding round that will be related to data structure and algorithm but yeah it won't be that difficult like the hd role so for data science profile mostly the company will check you your basic understanding of data structure so that you know they will give you some basic uh, problems and they will just check whether you understand the data structure algorithm part well or not uh, unlike in the in the hd profile they check rigorously whether you are very good in, in data structure algorithm or not but that is not the case for data science interviews uh, so for preparing for preparing for this coding round i would suggest you go for any online platform like lead code or geeks for geek and try to solve the easy and medium uh, level questions of each topic so for suppose you choose divide and conquer or graph algorithm only solve the question that comes under uh, easy or moderate or average category don't try to solve the question that is difficult or kind of you know super difficult question so don't you don't need to solve those questions you just have to focus on solving the questions which are easy and moderate and that is sufficient so i i would suggest you you, you choose any of these uh, different platforms and keep solving those easy questions and that will be sufficient for you uh, for cracking data science down and also in few uh, companies they 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 ask you to write some data science related code like they, they might ask you to build simple neural network or simple logistic regression or linear regression or maybe knn k means algorithm so for them i would suggest you the standard machine learning algorithm that is there uh, in the in the literature or in the in the in the books try to implement them using numpy as uh, scikit learn or simple uh, torch so that you know whenever they will ask you to implement a simple neural network or simple k-means algorithm you will be able to do that so yeah that's it guys this is how you have to prepare for a data science round you need to be very well uh, prepared on the basic machine learning stuff you need to be very clear about the projects that you have mentioned in your cv and you should know about it end to end and a decent amount of coding that you have to do and on the application part or the ml use case study there you know there is no preparation you have to use your knowledge and you have to try to solve it but only only try, only uh, suggestion that i will tell you that keep asking questions to the recruiter so that you have have an idea whether you are going to the right direction or not
that's it about this video i hope this video will be helpful for all who will be going for for their on campus interviews uh, in 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 this years end like in the december mostly the uh, on campus placement interview will be happening in different iits so i hope this video will be helpful for you and if you find this video helpful up to this please hit a like button and share this video to your friends who are also preparing for uh, this kind of interviews and if you are new to this particular channel please go through my channel check the videos and if you find it helpful Please subscribe it and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. That's it about this video. I'll meet you next video. Until then, bye.